So yes, I know, another video on uh, the Georgia Guidestones. Uh, but I figure I have very unique uh, uh, perspective into this, and so I would just share with you what I'm going to consider my opinion, because I'm not going to go into a great deal of detail of what I know and how I know it. So let's just go with that. But I will say, um, as far as my background is concerned, I did four years in the United States Marine Corps, four years in the United States Air Force. My last job, uh, I was a... Uh, munitions custodian and had to get a hazmat endorsement on my CDL so that I could transport explosives. Uh, I gave the explosive safety course um, and then this job here one of the things that my employer does is they actually uh, demill uh, munitions and so with that one of the ways that they do that is we don't know what this is we don't know how to get rid of it so just blow it up. And I got to tell you, that is a really cool sight to see because oh, this is high explosives. Now, there's a difference between low explosives and high explosives. And it, it deals with the, the rate of velocity as far as that goes. So things like uh, uh, um, like firecrackers and, and, and things like that, those are low explosives because they are not supersonic. When you get into high explosives, that's what we saw in Beirut when that uh, the fireworks went up and it, and it set fire to fertilizer and you saw that shock wave. So that shock wave was one of the things that I was kind of looking for in the videos. I'm not going to post the videos. We've seen the videos of, of this thing uh, being d demolished. We'll say that for the time being. And then, but I'm just going to give you some information. And then now when you look at the videos, you can see if it makes sense or not. So anyway, but yes, some of the stuff that we let go out here is high explosives, and to watch that shockwave go is pretty amazing. So, and I, again, I get to see this, and uh, I get to feel the concussion um, because we're about a quarter of a mile away from where we're actually setting this stuff off. Uh, it's been, but yeah, it's it's very powerful. It's, so yes. Um, so the first thing that when I saw these videos, and I'll just take you through my process on this. Uh, the first thing that I looked at was, why are we not seeing footage of people strapping uh, explosives to this monument? And, or how about this, the New World Order's Ten Commandments, how about that? You know, so anyway, we don't have that. They just show this thing just being pulverized. And I'm looking at the footage and I'm like, that that's a projectile. Something hit that. That's why we're not seeing people like rig up a charge and then and then detonating it. Um, and so at, and so at, but without knowing about the car afterwards, I was just like, was this an act of God? Like, did they, did something fall from space and smack this thing? I mean, it, so uh, yeah. so I just waited for a little bit more and more information as I usually do. Um, so I'll uh, bring up a couple of pictures here. So. Most of these pictures here are mine. I'm just going to share them with you real fast. Uh, I actually visited the Georgia Guidestones back in August of 2016. Uh, somebody made mention on my Facebook. They're like, I think it's a little suspicious that they have um, uh, um, surveillance. And I was like, no, not really, because the, one of the problems they were having were people were coming out here and they were uh, like, the what I saw was some sort of orange smoo that they cleaned most of it off. I, it's probably latex paint that they just, you know, threw on the stones and whatever. But, uh, and then being that they're not all polished and smooth and everything, some of it stayed there. But so they had to put surveillance out there and put up a fence and all that kind of stuff and add visitation and, and all that. But uh, yeah, so anyway, so one of the, in, and, I, and I've been bringing this picture up to correct people because people are saying they're trying to reduce the population. I'm like, no, that's not what the commandment says. The commandment says to maintain under half a billion people, not, not to reduce. The thing is, nearly 100% of everybody that's on this planet is going to die. All they have to do is just wait. And I say nearly because we've got the whole Yeshua cross thing that happened and then you got Enoch and... Um, and then that thing that people don't like to talk about uh, that we refer to as the rapture because, well, what are you going to do with those people that are still alive in Messiah? Uh, yeah, no, Paul must have been a heretic. 
No, it's the second one that got my attention, especially when we started dealing with the beer flu and the shampoo, and they want to guide reproduction. Maybe they're doing that with it because apparently it didn't do anything to the beer flu. I don't know. I know, conspiracy theory, but yeah, you know, so I took. And so, yeah, I got to see these in person back in 2016. Um, so you can see we've got, uh, there's a time capsule and they never said when they wanted it to open it. I guess now is a good time to do that. Um, people point out that that is misspelled. <laughs> so, and to give you an idea of the size of this thing, it tells you the overall height is 19 feet, nine inches. You know, the major stones on it are 16 feet tall, four inches high, and they weigh 42,000 pounds. So this is a massive thing. And then when you get up to how big that is, so that gives you uh, like the top one is 20, almost 25,000 pounds and is one foot seven. And so it's a foot and a half thick. So there was some massive amount of energy smacked into this thing. And the one that I think that they hit, just looking off of my pictures, and is the one that was Swahili and Hindi. I don't think there's any significance to that other than that's um, the the one that flanks the road the best. So the road is right here. And if you go down a few couple hundred yards or whatever, it's been a while since I've been out there and make a right, you hit the highway. And then 30 minutes later, you are on the interstate out of there. And that's why this was really clever uh, because they were able to get in, get out. Um, and I'll show you what the weapon is that I think that was being used uh, without even coming to this thing without even hopping the fence or doing anything like that. They just pop it and they're gone. Some other pictures uh, of this thing. And then the four other languages, because you'll see people talk about 12 languages. Uh, eight are in the, the, the New World Order's Ten Commandments, and then you've got these four that are on up here at the top, and it's not the full thing. So, yeah. So, anyway, I was out there. Um bring up a picture here of the devastation and this is what got me I was like I know a and I told one of my friends asked me a question and I was like yes yeah, some round hit this so was it something that fell from the sky and smacked into it I mean was this an act of God uh, and no especially with the car being there and I was just like no I'll tell you what I think so one thing I want you to notice is notice the the vegetation pattern here on this side it looks pretty normal and then over here you can see this blast and so that right there let me know this and this trail of debris or as I have a, a disdain for the French language debris <laughs> it's, a, it's a cabernet savignon oh and when I tell people I was just like I would like to get a Viognier uh, excuse me a Volgner and uh, mess that up but anyway um, so yeah uh, it, the, yeah, the only reason that they hit that one was because of its, it's, it's, uh, it was flat facing to the, the, uh, the road that was right there. But yeah, it just hit it with such force. And so you have all this mist of granite that just went out from the actual blast itself. And then you've got all the energy that pushed all the, everything this way. And even to this point where I imagine it came up and popped that. Uh, and I, it broke off the other side from pic pictures that I can see uh, with all that. So the other thing that got my attention was they tore it down pretty quick. And they were like, for safety reasons. And so it's either they already figure out what happened and they didn't need any more evidence of it. It's not like they're going to find prints or fiber or anything like that. Because that was the first thing that I looked at. I was like, well, where, where is the, the there's, no, there's no crater. There, there was no shock wave. Like, the amount of energy needed to do this, there, I should have been able to see a shockwave. Um, and then when I saw the car, I was like, oh, wait a minute. I bet you I know what they used. Because, yeah. So let me bring up. Let me introduce you to something that we trained with when I was in the Marine Corps. It's called an AT4. Occasionally, you can actually see these out in the world. Um, matter of fact, when I was in the Marine Corps, I, we had one in my office. So I, I just built this up just to be all gung-ho and everything like that. But anyway, yeah, I had one right up here. They are a single-shot anti-tank weapon. Actually, before this, I was just like, oh, AT, anti-tank, four. Uh, it's the fourth version. Well, I never knew, but I actually started looking at the, doing a little research on it. And it's actually 
a homophone of it's 84 millimeter so 84 and uh, but anyway it's designed to so so the first thing that you're going to look for when you watch the videos again is in the background you're going to see a flash out there in the trees or whatever and then you're going to at the same time because this thing travels like 250 meters a second uh, or 274 yards uh, in you know freedom units um, and so it, it, it just so you're going to see both basically at the same time and it's going to hit that thing so that's what that is called is the back blast because when you fire this thing one of the things you say is back blast area all secure and you make sure nobody is behind you because they can get burned and so when it pops out of there it's so that it doesn't throw fire in your face it has a um, charge in there that pushes this thing out of the tube and then the tube is no longer useful anymore it cannot be reloaded so if you ever see one because they've seen reports and stuff like that where they're just like oh my gosh we found this we didn't find any ammo with it but oh my goodness you know and it's just like it can't be relo reloaded again it's trash they use them for training they they destroy them i mean they so anyway so there's the back last right there that you can see and it is designed with the high explosives anti-tank uh, heat projectile can penetrate 450 millimeters or 17 and a half inches um, and that is about the thickness of these these stones and so and that that that's just armor the armor that we used during World War II but anyway it's not the modern stuff that we have and so yeah for for granted that's why I was like there was a lot of energy that just pow popped into this so what I think my opinion because i know some people were talking about well what about an rpg yeah well rpgs are not readily available here that's it's a russian weapon and it's always like lower quality than whatever and then you how do you get you know because these are single use whereas you can reload that and go at it again i mean um the problem with those are is I, i've heard reports First off, they, they don't penetrate as deeply into armor, A. Uh, B, they, sometimes they hit and then they bounce off and then they explode like two seconds later. And it just, it, there's too many problems with that particular weapon. Here in the United States, um, I said something at work where I was just like, I think somebody stole an AT4 to do this. Uh, and one of the guys that was in the army, he was like, no, nah, it's not possible. And I'm just like, oh yeah, yeah, it's possible. I can, I, and I'm not even going to go into why I, I know that it is. I'm just going to say it's possible. <laughs> it's difficult. Yeah. Because they all sit, they have serial numbers. And so when they bring them on the range, they serialize, they, they make sure they got all of them and then they got to shoot them all. And then when they're done training, then they, uh, take the serial numbers again to prove that they've been destroyed. So you would have to get into that logistical nightmare to get it off of there. Or there are other ways, which I will not go into. Uh, but anyway, that's when you watch the video again, look at it from that perspective as having this, this device here. Um, you pull up in the dark, you jump out, you pop the sights open, you cock it, you put it on your shoulder, you aim, you pop, bang, and then you get in there. And if it can take out a tank, I'm sure it can take out a slab of granite. And then Bam, you get in your car, and 30 minutes later, you're on the interstate. You are gone. And they've got really, and these are really crappy cameras, so it's not like, oh, we figured out the make of the car. Oh, well, how many of those cars did they make? 100,000 of them? 50,000? You know, good luck with that. So, yeah, I just I kind of wanted to put that out there so that everybody could kind of get an idea of my experience with explosives um, and what I'm looking at and why I think it was that particular weapon that was used, that whether it was, well, obviously it was stolen, or whether or not somebody had help doing that or whatever. Um, yeah, I just, I don't need people in suits knocking on my door and be like, what the, how do you know too much about this? I'm just guessing, I'm just guessing. Could be wrong about that. Um, I was really hoping it was an act of God. I would, because that would have been great. Like, ah, okay, no, that's a sign from God. But it, and and still, the fact that somebody has risked many, many years in federal prison to do this, uh, it's starting to. I think it's starting to show that people are getting a little bit fed up with what's going on in the world, and it's just like, okay, we're ready to fight back. So we'll see. I don't know. 
If you got an opinion, go ahead, leave it. 